Here we have a car conversion kit for Maruti 800 5 speed. Out of model. which this is the PMSM motor, and this is the coupler plate that fits between the motor and the gearbox. And these are the necessary fasteners for fixing the clutch assembly and the gearbox plate onto the gearbox. And this is the controller for the motor. This is the protective MCB. These are the necessary fasteners. And this is the converter, DC DC converter for charging the existing 12 volt battery. Here we have a voltmeter for indication of the voltage. And this is the foot throttle that we provide along with the kit. This is for varying the speed of the vehicle. Right? And then this is a speed selector switch out of which you can select the speed modes as 1, 2, and 3. Okay, and here's an extension that we have, that we have given for the throttle. This is a PMSM motor. It's a very efficient motor, it has low power consumption, it has less noise, it is a high power to weight ratio motor and the shaft of the motor as you can see is a keyway shaft, it has a keyway slot and here is the key for the motor you can just fix easily on the motor and you can just fix a sprocket, a pulley or any assembly that you want. Here in our case we are fixing a coupler, this coupler that fits onto the keyway shaft of the motor right? and apart from this, this keyway assembly of the motor. Here we have an internal bore here that we've given a tapping and there's an internal tapping inside so you can easily fix any sprocket, any pulley or any coupler and you can lock that pulley or the sprocket or the coupler onto the shaft. Mounting points of the motor, one, two, three, four and five are necessary coupler for five speed model. We've designed this plate as per the shape of the gearbox and the mounting holes are exactly as per the mounting holes of the gearbox, okay? This side is the coupler. This is the thing that actually rotates, holding the flywheel and the clutch assembly. We'll show. This is the other side of the coupler. Okay, it has the five mounting bolts for the motor. Now we'll attach the coupler plate with the motor. Okay, so this key has to be fixed onto the motor shaft. See the way in which we fix the key. We are matching the key with the internal keyway. So now we've matched the shaft keyway with the keyway of the okay so now we'll first fix the internal bolts now we've tightened all five bolts on the motor face along with the coupler face that is on the motor side okay so now we'll see the next step in the next step you can see the coupler is rigidly attached with the motor shaft okay but this coupler has to be locked with the shaft of the motor for that we'll be using the allen bolt along with the spring washer okay okay once you slide it onto the bolt then you now this is the flywheel of the four speed gearbox this is the clutch plate and this is the pressure plate of the fly of four speed gearbox okay so first we'll now fix take this flywheel and we'll fix this onto the coupler okay okay so place it onto the coupler and match the six holes okay after matching the six holes you can see we've given six bolts here so now we've tightened all six bolts now the next part that we're going to assemble is the clutch plate and the pressure plate so for that first place the clutch plate onto the flywheel okay right. now we are going to fix the pressure plate so the pressure plate comes from top and now we'll match the bolts I match the holes of the pressure plate exactly with the holes of the flywheel. Once you're done with the assembly of the flywheel along with the motor and the coupler plate, now we'll show you how to fix this assembly into the gearbox. Now this is the gearbox. So now we'll take this plate and we'll assemble here. Okay. So we're not taking the motor along with the gearbox in each and every assembly. And we are fixing it onto the gearbox. Here we have coupled this 4 kilowatt PMSM motor with this 5 speed gearbox. I'll explain you the mounts. This is the first one on the top side that we have to make a L plate and weld it. This is the lower one. I'll show you the mounting for this also. And the third one fits onto these three holes as you can see. The first one, the second one and the third one. Now here we've mounted the motor with the coupler plate along with the gearbox okay so now we'll show you the rest of the fittings for the electronics in some time so now we've assembled this vehicle with the 
4 kW setup along with the necessary electronics. So we'll explain you about the electronics now. So let's go to the bonnet first. Let's open the bonnet and see. Yeah. We we'll open up the bonnet now. So we'll explain you uh, the necessary connections for the electronics now. So what do we have here? Here we have the MCB section here. It's for protection. And this section that you see here, this is the controller. This is the controller that converts the DC power to three phase AC and accordingly it converts the power to three phase so that it controls the motor that is coupled with the gearbox. Okay. So as you, we've explained to you before also, this is the motor that is coupled with the gearbox. And this section that you see here is the charger. This charger is a 60 volt charger as we've ha we have a 60 volt battery pack in a vehicle. Now the section this kept up, this one, is a DC-DC converter. Now why is this used? For that first I'll explain you the main purpose of this battery. This battery is a 12 volt battery, the existing battery that was already there in the vehicle. This acts like an auxiliary battery only, only for indicators, headlights, horn, the wiper motor, the other, the other electronics required for the vehicle but this battery requires charging. So accordingly, this DC-DC converter, what it does is it takes power from the existing 60 volt battery converts it to the appropriate voltage required to charge this battery. And we've also set the current of the DC-DC converter in such a manner that this battery gets completely charged in the perfect manner. So now we'll see the charging point where it's installed. So this is the place where the petrol fueling point was there. So what we've done is we've installed a charging socket here. It's an IC socket, a three-pin IC socket. So here we have the charging cable. Right. This also has an IEC connector and the other side has a three-pin connector that directly goes in the three-pin point on the plugs. Now let's come to the battery section here. Yeah, this is the battery section. We'll explain you. Right. This is the battery. Yeah, if you see from the bottom, you can see the black box exactly in line with the chassis. Now I'll show you the space that we're getting in the vehicle. This is the rear section. So we're getting the boot space as it was in the earlier vehicle. Here what we've done is, we've installed an LED panel. It's an Android panel. Give you Here we've installed an additional watt meter in order to monitor the parameters like the voltage current, the AH ratings. Here, there's a change. We've installed a foot throttle here. This is an electric foot throttle. Now we are on Satara Highway and we are approaching the slope and we are going at 50 km per hour.
So now we are recording the video for regenerative braking. Okay, as you can see, the speed is somewhere around 35 to 40 kilometers per hour. Current run is around 125 amps. Okay, let's see this reading in the clamp meter. Okay, now I'm going to press the brakes for regenerative braking, and let's see how the current reading becomes negative and the power goes from the motor towards the battery pack. As you can see, uh, the voltage has gone to 59.2 and the current is showing around 14.4 amps. So gradually the voltage is incrementing, it's gone from 59.2 to 59.3 and the current is 14.3 amps. So this is how the regenerative braking takes place. I'm going to press the brakes more so that the regenerative braking stops now. I'm gradually reducing the speed of the vehicle and as you can see this regenerative braking is also stopping. Okay, so it's grown from 13.3 amps now to 2 amps and it's now become zero because I've stopped the vehicle now. So this is how the regenerative braking takes place and the voltage of the battery pack increases as the regeneration takes place.